Welcome to this video that discusses one of the most fundamental processes we need to master, the nitrogen cycle. In our water, a lot of chemical processes take place. The most important chemical process that occurs in our ponds is the nitrogen cycle. The nitrogen cycle is a repeating cycle of processes during which nitrogen moves through both living and non-living things like the atmosphere, soil, water, plants, animals and bacteria. The nitrogen cycle ensures healthy water for our fish, because it transforms waste into building material for water plants and organisms. But why is it important? To answer this question, we need to understand two fundamental aspects about this cycle. First, this nitrogen cycle toxicates the environment of your fish. Of course, nature has implemented a safe fail for this but this takes some time to speed up. It has to do with all kinds of microbiological processes and organisms that will clean up the mess this nitrogen cycle creates. So that is some good news. The drawback here is that we need to take responsibility and guide this nitrogen cycle a bit. This way, we make sure our fish are happy and alive, and toxic levels stay below acceptable thresholds. This all may sound a bit difficult, but once you know what is happening you are already there. So stay tuned, we have got you covered. Let's first have a look at what this nitrogen cycle actually is, here we go. To get things started, a catalyst is needed that starts off the cycle. In our aquaria and ponds it all starts with us. We feed our fish, and it is this food that fuels the nitrogen cycle. It works like a catalyst and kicks off the creation of the second stage. The creation of the toxic ammonia. The first stage starts off the production of a toxic amount of ammonia. 70% of the ammonia is released by the fish through their gills. And not only that. Fish's feces also add to the equation here. That is an interesting fact to know, as this means that our fish permanently toxicate themselves, and feeding them accelerates this process. Good to know that nature has a great remedy for this. A natural way to neutralize the toxicity by transformation. Nature transforms ammonia to nitrite. To do this, we need a special kind of bacteria, named nitrosomas. This bacteria thrives well, as long as ammonia is available. Fortunately, we do not need to do anything to get this bacteria to grow to a certain amount that is able to deal with the ammonia offered. We can accelerate the growth of these bacteria by providing ideal circumstances. So, important realization here. We need to grow and nurture these bacteria, as they are fundamental for healthy water. Are we safe when ammonia is transformed to nitrite then? Unfortunately, the answer is no. Although the toxic ammonia is neutralized by the nitrosomas bacteria, it creates a different toxic waste called nitrite. Nitrite is a true killer when present in high concentrations. So, somehow, we need to get rid of this as well. Luckily for us, nature takes again care of our fish. In this stage, the toxic nitrite is transformed to the harmful nitrate. We have to thank the nitrobacter bacteria for this. So again, we need to grow and nurture these as well. As you understand by now, nature does not need our help in this, but it needs a place to grow all these essential bacteria. That is why we need biological filtration on our aquaria and ponds. All we need to do is provide the right circumstances to maximize the growth of the necessary bacteria. So from now on, you will never look the same to your filtration system again. It is the heart of the biological ecosystem, and you need to keep it healthy and in shape. Without biological filtration, our fish are sentenced to death. Nurturing the biological ecosystem by mastering the nitrogen cycle is the true holy grail of keeping healthy fish. We have seen that the nitrogen cycle is kicked off by food and inhabitants of our tanks and ponds, and that ammonia is transferred to nitrite by the nitrosomas bacteria. This nitrite is then transferred to nitrate by the nitrobacter bacteria. Millions of them. The end game now starts. How do we get rid of the nitrate? There are different ways to get rid of it. Normally, it is nutrition for plants and nitrate is consumed by them. So that is one way to get rid of it. By the way, plants have a secret trick up their sleeves. They are able to absorb ammonia as well. Not all, but every bit is welcome. This way, the nitrogen cycle is less intrusive and more harmful. Another way of getting rid of nitrate is a very simple one, just remove some water and replace it with tap water. A normal rule of thumb is a 10% exchange of water per week. But to be honest, it depends on the amount of food you give, and of the size of the tank or pond. But keeping it into mind and just do it does not hurt anything. 
Fresh water is the best prevention for problems, and the best medicine to solve them. Now that we have a basic understanding of the cycle, can we do something to minimize the effects of the transformation processes? The answer is a simple yes, we can. First of all, we can get to the store and buy a simple test set that measures the amount of ammonium and nitrite in the water. We mention these specifically, as they are toxic to fish and need to be monitored at all times. If you measure a concentration that is a bit too high, just refresh some water. This way, you dilute the concentration giving your biological system time to cope with the demand. And to grow an amount of bacteria to neutralize it. Guiding your filtration system to the stage where there are enough bacteria to cope with the amount of toxic waste, is essential. After that, just measure the amount of ammonia and nitrite regularly when you are doing maintenance. And you are good to go. Keeping healthy fish is equal to keeping healthy water. Let this sink in. So, healthy water means healthy fish? Most of the time this is true. It all starts with good water management, and understanding and mastering the nitrogen cycle is a key element in that. We want to give you a last final tip. Now you know that the nitrogen cycle is kicked off by food, it means that you as a feeder can control the process. If you measure a concentration of ammonia or nitrite that is too high, just feed a bit less. Do not stop, but lower the amount of food. This way, you determine the amount of ammonia or nitrite in your water. Combined with regular water exchanges, you can certainly keep your fish healthy. Thank you for your attention, we hope you have learned something. We are planning more videos on water quality and keeping fish in general, so please be so kind to subscribe to the channel and like the videos. This way you help me to keep the channel going, and bringing you more knowledge. Professor Pan thanks you for your attention, and keep enjoying your hobby. Professor Pond is an initiative, operated by Eric Bessels. If you want more of these great, informative and valuable movies, please like the movies, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.